Hey guys, today we're working on a 1974 Ford F100. It is a uh, rear wheel drive model and we are going to be doing the parking brake lines in it. I got these from LMC Truck. Uh, I actually really like them. They have everything you need basically. They're kind of pricey sometimes, but overall they have what you need. So this is the front one. This goes from the pedal back to where then it connects to the two lines that go out to the wheels. So we are going to start with the first one. Now, you can see this clip here is gonna end up going around that part right there and I'll show you on the inside. That goes right here. We're gonna feed it up through here and that clip goes on so that it stays where it is and it will actually, the ball is going to fit in there. I already took my um, cable out from here, but there is a hole right there. It feeds down through the firewall and out under the truck. I have mine hooked up out of the way right here. Um, so, we're gonna yank this out got it down there and then if you follow it back mine comes above the frame all right we've got a attachment there that needs to come off and then right back behind this bearing is where it attaches to the other two so first unbolt that and then we'll and attach it down there. All right, in order to get this part of the cable out, which is in the middle of the truck where it attaches to the two that go to the wheels, um, I cut this part off just to get it out of the way. But as you can see here, there's these little prongs sticking out here. And when you stick it through the hole, it goes in because it compresses them and then they get stuck in there forever. So that's kind of what happened here. And what I ended up doing is actually using a screwdriver and prying them off a little bit and then taking a, a needle nose pliers and grabbing them and twisting them until they broke. And then I was able to pull it out that way. So then underneath the truck, this cable, there's three holes in mine. So this one's gonna go through there, through there. And we're just going to slide it all the way in and let it click. So it goes through both parts of the rail and then it needs to be pushed in. Click. Never going to come out again. So then over here is where we're at next. You can see this part of the cable is going to go into here. Um, there's a spring here. I think mine is not the original one, but this cable feeds through here and then you can loosen this up. We're going to just get this one cable set and ready to go. Alright, see you see. Cable's right there and then it comes through and it gets snatched right there. So then here, you loosen this nut, which puts slack on these cables. And then, once you have enough slack, you can get the balls out of the clamp here. So that is the next job there. I did not buy a new one of these, so I'm gonna hang on to those and I'm using, reusing these clamps. So next is loosen that up all the way and then get these clamps out. I'm going to the bank. 
for murder right now. So then if you follow the cables back, they go through to this part of the rail here, and then they go back to each wheel. So the next part is to take a clip out there and a clip out there, and that'll loosen this end of the cables. left is where it attaches into the brakes so for this we are going to have to take the wheel and brake drum off so get your wheel off and then I found this is the easiest way to get stuck drum brakes off you just uh, use a chain and a scissor jack and a torch uh, I've gotten mine off recently so they shouldn't be too stuck but anyways get your drum brakes off and then we'll move on to the next step all right, with the brake drums off, you basically go about taking this apart just like you would if you were doing your brakes. Spring off there, spring off there. Get that cable off there, spring off there. That guy out. There you go. So I'm trying to leave this as much intact as possible. So you can see that's where our brake line is. And that is where the, that's where the cable ends up. So you can either take like a, like a grinder and grind off that, cut it through there. Or I'm gonna try the same thing here and break off those tongs. So then once you get that out, we'll put the new one in. Alright, then it's the same thing here. Once we got the old one out, new one's ready to go in. Uh, the driver's side is the longer side. And we'll just uh, clip it right on in. There you go. And then... Attach it to the to the pads where it's supposed to be.
Right. And then put everything back together. All right, and then once you get it in and situated, just like that, you're good to go. You just run them back to how you took them apart and put everything back together. And that is how you replace the parking brake lines in an F100.